actions you take every day are a direct result of the beliefs that you have at any given time. Some people take different actions than you would take because they have different beliefs than you would. I'm sure you can think of someone right now that has done something that you don't agree with, but those actions that they took were based on their own beliefs, whatever they might be, and those beliefs are different than yours. So I repeat, the actions that you take every day are a direct result of your beliefs at any given time. If you believe that the actuarial career would be a great fit for you, but you've been making really slow progress or you haven't quite been able to commit to it yet, then it's likely that there are some false beliefs that are behind those decisions and those actions. And those false beliefs might be causing your actuarial journey to take way longer, maybe years longer than it really needs to be. All because you mentally can't get past those beliefs. There are three common false beliefs that I constantly see holding potential actuaries back from going after a career that they believe would be perfect for them. Maybe one of them is holding you back. So in today's video, you're going to learn what those three false beliefs are so that you can learn why they're wrong and replace them with new beliefs that are going to help you move forward in the actuarial career if you believe it would be perfect for you. So I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their actuarial dream job all without an internship. Okay, so the very first false belief is that there are barriers out there that may exist that would make it impossible for you to get an actuarial job. Many potential actuaries out there are scared to fail. That's because they're scared that they're not going to be able to be successful in the actuarial career. Usually this is caused by mastery mindset. And if you haven't heard that term before, make sure you go watch this video next to learn all about it. Future actuaries tend to be so used to having success. They usually start to take success for granted because they usually just accomplish accomplish anything that they put their mind to. But when they hear about the low exam pass rates in the actuarial field, when they learn about how difficult it is to get an actuarial job and how much competition there is, sometimes that scares them. It makes them hesitant to actually go all in because they're not 100% sure that they'll be able to succeed like they have been able to in the past. The truth is though, if you are willing to put in the effort, willing to put in the effort, and you know the steps that it takes to become a top candidate for actuarial positions, then it's almost inevitable that you'll be able to get an actuarial actuarial job. It's just a matter of time. Now, yes, you do have to become a top candidate and we have videos about that. Go watch this one, for example. It'll explain exactly what you need to do to become a top candidate. But if you do that and you are committed to the actuarial career, then you will be able to get a job. There is a solution for every single problem you run into. There's a way to overcome any situation that you might be in. There isn't any barrier that's too big, too tough to break through in the actuarial field. You can overcome a low GPA. I had to do that personally you can overcome failed exams, you can overcome the fact that you might be starting a little bit late, you can overcome the fact that you might not have an actuarial internship. I help future actuaries do this all the time in the Actuary Accelerator community and I've seen it happen over and over and over again. There is not a situation out there that would absolutely 100% prevent you from getting an actuarial job. Yes, some things might make it a little bit harder, but you can always overcome those obstacles. The saying, if there's a will, there's a way, could not be more true in this situation. Okay, now let's move on to false belief number two, which is that you've got to be a genius in order to become an actuary. For many potential actuaries, the thought of actuarial exams is scary and no wonder with the low pass rates and so many people talking about how difficult the exams are, it's inevitable that you're going to feel a little bit scared about whether you're actually smart enough. And for me personally, and maybe for you, I actually didn't really have 100% confidence that I would be able to have the level of knowledge that I needed in order to perform well in an actuarial position. So it can be scary thinking that you're going to be surrounded by tons and tons of geniuses in the actuarial career and maybe you're not going to be able to live up to that expectation. But the truth is you are 100% capable of learning everything that you need to know in order to pass actuarial exams and perform well in an actuarial position. That's what I did. I wasn't born with all the math knowledge that I have today and I guess you probably weren't either. Think about yourself back in grade one, for example. If you had seen a formula like this, you probably would have been very intimidated and had no idea how to solve it. But throughout school, you learned things like how to add, you learned how to subtract, and then you probably learned multiplication and division. Then you learned how to take a square root and you learned order of operations. And now this quadratic formula probably seems like no big deal to you because you've used it over and over again and you've seen it a hundred times and you know how to do 
all the different pieces of it. It doesn't feel scary. And the actuarial exams are exactly the same way. Everything gradually builds on top of the stuff that you've learned previously. And because I know you've done this in the past, I know you will be able to do it again, just like you did before. Study materials are also available for all of the actuarial exams that will help you learn the material that you need to know in order to pass the exam. And actuaries in the workplace tend to be very friendly, always willing to help when you're not fully understanding something that you need to do for your job. If you've been feeling like you have to be a genius in order to become an actuary, I want you to break that mindset right now because it is not true. You are definitely going to be able to learn everything that you need in order to become an actuary. So is this making sense so far? If it is, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know that it's making sense to you and also so this video can spread to more future actuaries that need to break through these false beliefs. Okay, now let's get into the third false belief and that is that you know what your career is going to be like in five, 10, or 15 years from now. Some future actuaries are hesitant to start their actuarial journey because it's a big decision deciding to become an actuary. They often feel like once they make this decision to go all in on the actuarial career that they're going to have to spend the next 20, 30, or 40 years of their career all the way up until retirement in the actuarial field. And the fact is that is just not true. Most future actuaries forget the fact that a career is not final. Nothing is going to lock you into the actuarial career permanently once you start. There's always going to be so many opportunities for you if you decide that this isn't the direction you want to take your career anymore in five years from now, 10 or even longer. When I first learned about the actuarial career and started on my own actuarial journey, I thought that I was going to be working as a typical actuary for the rest of my life. But now look where I am. I'm doing something very different than what I used to be doing. And I never could have imagined that I would be doing this five, 10 years ago. You don't know what your career is going to look like. You don't know what your life is going to look like. Things are going to change in terms of what you want for your career and your life in five or 10 years from now. So it really doesn't make sense for you to try to figure out a career that you are 100% confident that you will want to spend until retirement doing because it's really unlikely that you're actually going to find that career. And one of the best things about the actuarial career, if you do decide to go into it, you become a top candidate and spend a few years working. If you do decide Side to later move into a different field, a different career, a different job, whatever it may be. The skills that you have learned and gained and the experience that you've gained by becoming a top candidate and working in the field is going to pay off big time. You're gonna have so many opportunities available to you because the skills that you have are in demand and they're highly valued by so many different types of employers in so many fields. So if the actuarial field feels right for you right now, then go for it. You are never going to know for sure whether the career that you choose is going to suit you for the rest of your working career or not. You might as well go for something that excites you now and something that you are really passionate about now. So have you been believing any of these things? It's okay if you have, but the first part of starting to get over these false beliefs is to admit to yourself that you've had them and that they've been holding you back. So if you are feeling up for the challenge and you feel like you finally want to break through of these mindset blocks, let me know in the comments right down below which one you are experiencing most. Is it A, have you been believing that there are barriers that exist that may make it impossible for you to get an actuarial job? Or is it B, have you maybe been believing that you have to be a super smart genius in order to become an actuary? Or is it C, have you maybe not been taking actions on the actuarial career because you're not 100% sure this is what you're going to want to do in 20 years? Or is it D, none of the above? Let me know down in the comments, A, B, C, or D. And if none of these beliefs have been holding you back from pursuing the actuarial career, maybe it's the fact that you believe you're going to have to sacrifice a whole bunch of stuff in order to become an actuary. And that is also not true. If you want to learn why that is, then make sure you go watch this video next and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.